Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing another reading for the sign of Aquarius. And keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you'd like a personal reading, that is going to be down below in the description. Or you can find that on my website. You can find a bunch of other things on that website too. It's free to sign up and join. So go ahead and go check it out. Currently have a sale going on on everything in the shop. And that ends on, excuse me, the 20th. So once the 20th comes of this month, everything is going to return to normal pro pr prices. We have a lovers coming out, so we have some love happening for Aquarius. Like always, there's some type of love that is coming your guys' way. Okay. So let's see. And I'm using the Aquarian Spirit Tarot, which you can find on the shop section of my website. And that is the only place you can find it. So... We have the sun, okay? But with this, this is Sun God Ra. And that is gifting you his powers for creation. So there could be something you guys are going to create or something you're going to bring to life in your life, okay? But either way, you guys are in this mode of creation here. Either, either there's somebody that you're observing here or there could be somebody here that's observing you create could be admiring you, could be somebody younger than you that kind of like idolizes or or there's somebody that you're idolizing here. It could be somebody, it could be somebody that's part of your family that's younger than you, that's that's kind of looking up to you. All right, maybe because they see how much you do for everybody else around you. And then this card represents gardening or farming. It's like a man that's in the garden or the farm here or out in nature. So this could either be you or just some man around you that's very much into this nature type of vibe, a king of swords. So it could potentially be you or just somebody that's around you here. We have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups in this deck is what comes out when we need to get deeper into spirituality. So let's see. Man, your cards just fell on the floor. There's number 45 with intelligence, education, knowledge, perception, flexibility. Number 23 with forgiveness, letting go, healing, growth, compassion. So there's something here you're deciding to let go of. Something here you're deciding to forgive and move on. Forgiving it so you can move on, not forgiving it to go back to it, Aquarius, so that you just let go. And then I'm also seeing like there could be something you're researching or you're studying, Aquarius. So we'll get to all that in a minute. I pull some tarot cards again. Then we'll go back to some different oracle cards. There's a queen of wands wanting to pop, pop out. Okay. Either you have fire in your chart or there could be a fire sign that is around you. All right, man, your cards are all over the floor. There, once again, there's some love, there's love, and then there's a, there's letting go. So, hold on, let me grab this last card that's on the floor. Okay, yeah, you're going to be meeting more of your soul tribe, soul family people here that are into the same things as you, they resonate with you, but I feel like you guys are letting go of a past love and moving on into a new love, is what I feel like here, Aquarius. The Death card, the Tower with the Two of Cups. Some of you guys may have been letting go of a Scorpio, and you're just moving. It feels like you're just moving on. Right? That could have been a relationship that ended a long time ago, but it's like you're fully letting go of it, and you're fully moving on now into the new. Yeah, some of you, it could have been a Scorpio that you're letting go of. You're moving on from. So. Maybe because all they did is make you feel like you were ignored. So you're going after what you want for your life now. So you're letting go of that person, walking away from that person here. And you're manifesting something else or somebody else. You're being told you can move in whatever direction that you want. 
And once again, we have you guys returning back to your spirituality. So talking about spirituality, we're going to move over to these Oracle cards. To see more on what we have for you. What is the deeper message? So if we can get one card, one message for Aquarius. What is this? Oh, number two with blessings of the moon maidens. We have some blessings coming your way, Aquarius. Let's read these blessings because that speaks them out into existence. And we had the books. We gotta, we gotta look in the book. Okay, number two. Twos represent partnerships. We do have love that's happening, but let's see. The moon maiden, with her lucky hair, brings auspicious tidings of prosperity and abundance to you now. Universe seeks to replenish, restore, and create through you. Once again, that creation. Allow yourself to receive beyond what you have thought is possible by opening your heart with gratitude now. Let the blessings of good fortune from the beloved maiden of the moon, Kuan Yin, flow easily into your life now. Gifts of abundance and prosperity are flowing to you now. You are being asked to open up to what you believe is possible and then open up some more. Okay, open up to what you believe is possible and then more and then some. Aquarius, allow good fortune in all its forms to come to you. Don't limit what you are capable of attracting with false beliefs about how much you deserve or what you are worthy of having. The universe will share with you so much more than you imagine as you open your heart and let go of self-imposed limitations, doubts, or fears. The Moon Maiden blesses with great generosity, blessings of good fortune and peace, yet we must trust how these blessings come to us and accept that we may need to grow for those blessings to manifest in our lives. All blessings need energy within us in which to vest like a seed needing soil in which to be planted so it can manifest in the physical world as a vital, healthy plant. Blessings such as a new partnership, life path, career opportunity, growth in the personal or spiritual power, and financial healing require energy within us to be able to settle and grow into physical form, to be enjoyed and shared in our lives. Our beliefs, openness, vitality, and trust need to be big enough to receive the magnificent of the blessings coming to us. Otherwise, it is like asking a wonderful vast oak tree to be planted in a tiny pot or an ocean to be contained in a thimble. Do you know how easy it is for you to attract even more goodness and support for this growth in your life? Have gratitude for what you have already received and how you have already grown. These blessings would not be coming to you if there was not a readiness and ability within you to receive them. So share something of what you have with others in a way that expands rather than depletes you. You may choose to share kindness, your talents, love or affection, knowledge or material resources. Give from the desire to do so from the heart. Do not seek to give out of fear, obligation or guilt. Just give what feels good to give. And your heart will open with joy rather than close with anxiety or fear. You will feel good and even more deeply into the flow of abundance. The Divine Feminine endlessly creates over and over again, flowing into cycles just like the moon. If you have been through a challenging cycle where your creative ability to manifest seemed like an in to be impeded, this oracle indicates that the tide is changing and your finances, energy, relationships, and vocation are being infused with abundant universal energy now. Accept this divine grace and know that your abundance helps others feel abundant too. It is a spiritual service to live life full of life of fullness and joy and here's healing blessings of the moon maiden take a few moments to consider the air in your life where you would like growth healing and abundance prosperity and good fortune have many faces material wealth is one and relationships is another professional success might be another and spiritual fulfillment and creative expression are yet other faces what are the faces of abundance that you wish to experience more of in your life once you have identified which areas you would most like to receive healing in, realize that the healing will usually affect all areas of your life, no matter which channel it comes through. Take time to articulate and perhaps write down in your journal at least three negative beliefs.
that you have about this part of your life. Then consider three positive situations that you would like to experience and perhaps write them down in your journal. Gently close your eyes and imagine that you are in a mystical place with the full moon in the deepest night, shining brightly. Imagine Kuan Yin dancing with her beautiful light all around her, lotus blossoms pouring from her feet and the golden light shining towards you from her hands. Imagine offering her your negative beliefs from your journal. You can even read them aloud if, to her if you wish. And allow her to shine golden light from her hands, flooding these beliefs with light and transforming them into positive energy. Imagine the lotus blossoms of her feet tickling down the crown of your head as she sends to the healed. Positive energy back to your heart chakra. Imagine breathing it in. And when you're ready, you may like to say the prayer below or simply say thank you and open your eyes. And here's a prayer. I now choose to release negative energy, negative beliefs, and negative memories connected with abundance, money, relationships, and success and well-being. I offer these for healing to beloved moon maid and Kuan Yin. May she turn the heaviness of these offerings into golden light. May I receive this golden light into my heart. A good fortune and blessings flow to me now. May I share as I receive. May I flow with joy, abundance, and divine grace. To the blessings of Kuan Yin, so be it. Okay? So we're going to pull one more tarot card. Offering. See? Make, I feel like, do what we just talked about. All right, with this healing thing, when we we're talking about offering what negative beliefs you have about your abundance, offering that to this goddess here, so that can be tra transformed into positive, positivity, all right? And I also feel like there's an offer coming your way here. It could be an offer for a car. I don't know, maybe some of you guys are buying a car, selling a car, doing something with a car, all right? So, Aquarius. That is what I have for you. If you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also go check out my website for even more content on there too. All right, so goodbye, guys.